Next on BGSU Brain Game, it is Striker versus Defiance. We better get ready for some cranial combustion. Can you take the heat? Only one team can leave victorious. Who is it going to be? BGSU's Brain Game starts right now. And welcome to BGSU Brain Game. Let's meet our team, starting with Defiance. Tell us who you are. Uh, my name is Caden Hazleton. I'm a senior. To my left is Dennis English, who's also a senior. To my right is Andrew Sweeney, who is a junior. All right, who's your coach? Give him a shout out. Uh, coach Jim Kerr. All right, welcome to Defiance. Striker, tell us who you are. Caitlin St. John, I'm a senior. To my left is Matthias Cheeseman, a junior, and Alex Johnson, also a junior. My coach is Barbie Oder back there. All right, welcome to Stryker and to Defiance. Going to start things off in the toss-up round. Uh, this is a kind of a fun round, no uh, worries here. We're 10 questions in this round. They're worth 10 points apiece, no deduction for an incorrect answer, so you can be a little bit looser on your buzzers. You may confer before buzzing in, and you can steal a question in this round. Defiant Striker, are you ready? Yep. Here we go. It has two national parks, Grand Teton and Yellowstone. Which state is it? That would be Defiance. Caden. Wyoming. Wyoming is correct. Defiance on the board first. The Declaration of Independence cited how many grievances against the King of England? That would be Stryker. Matthias. 12. Incorrect. Defiance, would you like to steal? That would be Caden. 4. Incorrect. 27. That's right. Big list there. If you take a ride on the, quote, the ship of the desert, end quote, what did you ride? That would be Stryker. Caitlin. A camel? Correct. A camel it is. Stryker on the board. What color was Baron Manfred von Richthofen's, that would be Defiance, Dennis? Red. Red, that's right. Famous World War I fighter plane, Red, the Red Baron. What wizard of Tuskegee proclaimed in a controversial 1895 speech, quote, in all things that are purely social, we can be as separate as the fingers, yet one as the hand in all things essential essential to mutual progress, end quote. Stryker, Caitlin. William. Incorrect. Defiance, would you like to steal? That would be Dennis. Buchanan. Incorrect. Booker T. Washington. The Statue of Liberty's green color is result of what elements? That would be Defiance, Caden. Copper. Copper is correct. Reaction to oxygen. During what century did Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart compose? That would be Defiance. Andrew? 1700s. We need more than that. Can't tell him. Time. All right, Stryker, chance to buzz in. That would be Matthias. 18th century. 18th century is what we needed there. That's what we needed specifically. All right, what do we call the fat-like substance associated with arteriosclerosis? Time, cholesterol, nasty stuff there. The state that became, or excuse me, the state that came to be known as the Bluegrass State became the 15th state in the Union. That would be Defiance, Dennis. Kentucky. Kentucky, that's right. When South Dakota ratified it on January 23rd, 1964, it went into effect thereby abolishing poll taxes. What amendment to the United States Constitution was this? That would be Defiance, Caden. 21st. Incorrect, Stryker, would you like to steal? I'm sorry, time, 24th Amendment. Uh, close, but not quite over there. All right, that is all 10 questions in the toss-up round. Let's take a look at our score. Stryker with 20, currently in the lead. Defiance with 40. You're gonna wanna stick around because our risk and reward round coming up next, stay tuned.
And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game Striker 20 Defiance 40. Before we get to our next round, looks like we have a substitution for Striker. Who has joined your team? To my right, Hunter Lasley, a freshman. All right, welcome to you, Hunter, and to all of our returning players from the last round. This is the risk and reward round. Both teams, you will receive the same nine questions. They are worth 10 points apiece, no deduction for an incorrect answer. You may confer, of course, before buzzing in. Now, the 10th question is where things get a little interesting. We will give you a topic. You will have the option to risk up to 30 points in five point increments on that topic. Get the question right, get those bonus points. You get it wrong, we deduce deduction of those points that you risked. Also, a non-answer will result in a deduction. However, if you don't like the topic, you can simply pass and walk with the nine questions. All right, Defiant, since you're at 40 points, Striker, you are at 20. You, Striker, will be going to isolation. Off you go. All right, Defiance, are you ready for your risk and reward round? Yep. All right, here we go. Name the Roman god of the sea. That would be Caden. Neptune. Neptune is correct. The human kidney is composed of an outer layer called the cortex, a pelvis, and middle layer called what? Caden. Book. <laughs> Incorrect. Medulla is what we needed there. It is located on the west side of the Nile. Name the burial site where you would find the remains of many kings, including Ramesses II's 52 sons. Time, the Valley of the Kings, the Valley of the Kings. The pilot made a prodigious error in judgment. Spell the word prodigious. That would be Dennis. P-R-O-D-I-G-I-O-U-S. Correct. Greenland, New Guinea, Borneo, and what other island make up the four largest islands in the world? Caden. Australia. Incorrect. Madagascar. If a couple celebrates their golden wedding anniversary, how long have they been married? That would be Caden. 50. 50 years indeed. The federal government sells T bonds. What does the T stand for? That would be Caden. Treasury. Correct. What country always leads the procession at the opening ceremony of the Olympics? Caden. Greece. Greece is correct. Who wrote I, Robot? That would be Caden. Stephen King. Incorrect. Isaac Asimov. Risk and reward time. The topic is the elements. You can risk up to 30 points in five point increments. If you don't like it, you can simply pass. Can we do 15 points? You can do 15 points. 15 points for defiance on the elements. Its chemical symbol is GD, and its atomic weight is 157.52. Name this element. Uh, in time? Did not get in in time. Gadolinium is what we needed there, gadolinium. All right, uh, let's take a look. Defiance, that is the end of the risk and reward round for you. It is now time for you to lead them off to isolation. Let's bring back in Striker. Welcome back from isolation, Striker. Are you ready for your risk and reward round? Yes. Here we go. Name the Roman god of the sea. That would be Matthias. Neptune. Neptune is correct. The human kidney is composed of an outer layer called the cortex, a pelvis, and a middle layer called what? Time. 
time. The medulla is what we needed there. It is located on the west side of the Nile, named the burial site, where you would find the remains of many kings, including Ramesses II's 52 sons. That would be Matthias. The Valley of the Kings? Correct. The pilot made a prodigious error in judgment. Spell the word prodigious. That would be Caitlin. P-R-O-D-I-G-O-U-S, prodigious. Incorrect, there was another I after the G, but close, but unfortunately not close enough. Greenland, New Guinea, Borneo, and what other island make up the four largest islands in the world? That would be Caitlin. Australia. Incorrect. Australia is a continent. Madagascar is the island we were looking for. Though it is, does look like a big one, though, doesn't it? If a couple celebrates their golden wedding anniversary, how long have they been married? That would be Caitlin. 50 years. 50 years is correct. The federal government sells T-bonds. What does the T stand for? That would be Caitlin. Transferable. Incorrect. Treasury is what we needed there. What country always leads the procession at the opening ceremony of the Olympics? Matthias. Greece. Greece is correct. Who wrote I, Robot? That would be Isaac Asimov. Risk and reward question time. The topic is the elements. You can risk up to 30 points in five point increments, or you can pass. Stryker, what are you thinking? 10 points. 10 points on the elements for Stryker. Its chemical symbol is GD, and its atomic weight is 157.52. Name this element. Time. Gadolinium is what we needed there. All right, Stryker, that is the end of the risk and reward round for you. It is now time to clear our scores, and let's bring back in Defiance. All right, welcome back, Defiance. Let's see where our teams stand against each other. All right, Defiance, you have how many points? 75. Stryker stands at 50 points. A very close competition indeed. You're going to want to stick around because things are going to change very, very quickly. That's right, our category round's coming up next. Questions worth as much as 30 points apiece, but deductions are going to start, so stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game. Striker 50, Defiance 75 points. Striker looks like someone has returned to your team. Uh, remind us who's with you now. Alex Johnson, a junior. All right, welcome back to Alex. And of course, welcome back to all of our players from the last round. All right, this is the category round. This is where the power shifts now a little bit to you, our teams. There are six categories to choose from. Inside each category are questions worth 10, 15, 20, 25 and a whopping 30 points. However, I must warn you, that's right, I must warn you, deductions start now. You go for 15, you're risking 15. You go for 30, you're risking 30 points as well. However, there is one double or nothing question hiding in there. It could be a game changer. You may confer before buzzing in and you can steal a question in this round. Striker, at 50 points, you get to make the first selection. We'll take World History Month for 10. World History Month for 10 points. I will name a well-known event from world history. You identify the month during the month during which the event took place. Some months could be named more than once. Declaration of Independence in U.S. signed. That would be Defiance, Caden. July. July is correct. Defiance takes control. 
Rivers and cities for 10. Rivers and cities for 10 points. I will name a major city of the world. You are to identify the river that passes through the city. El Paso. That would be Defiance, Dennis. Rio Grande. Rio Grande is correct. Defiance still in control. Rivers and cities for 15. Rivers and cities for 15. The city is Baghdad. That would be Defiance, Caden. Euphrates. Incorrect. Striker, would you like to steal? That would be Caitlin. Tigris. Tigris is correct. Euphrates is south of the city. Uh, Striker in control. Begins with CH for 10. Begins with CH for 10. Identify each of the following people, places, or things that begin with the letters CH. If the correct response is a person's name, his or her last name or single name begins with the letters CH. Wooden house with a gently sloping roof and overhanging eaves often seen in Swiss villages. Time, a chalet is what we were looking for there. Uh, let's see, striker in control. Begins with CH for 15. Begins with CH for 15 points. A record of events written in the order in which they occurred. That would be Stryker. Matthias. Chronology. Chronology or chronicle, yes. Stryker in control. Begins with CH for 20. Begins with CH for 20 points. Substance that forms the hard outer cover of an insect. That will be Defiance, Dennis. Titan. Titan is correct. Defiance takes back control and the lead. Rivers and cities for 20. Rivers and cities for 20 points. Montreal. That would be Defiance, Caden. St. Lawrence River. St. Lawrence River is correct. Defiance in control, stepping on the gas. Rivers and cities for tw 25. Rivers and cities for 25 points. Vienna. That would be Defiance, Dennis. Danube. Danube is correct. Defiance still in control. Rivers and cities for 30. Rivers and cities for 30 points. Calcutta. That would be Defiance, Dennis. Indus. Incorrect. Striker, would you like to steal? That would be Matthias. Jordan. Incorrect. The Ganges is what we needed there. Ganges. Uh, Defiance, you're still in control. Earth surface for 10. Uh, Earth changing surface for 10 points. Based on the given definition and the first letter of each correct response, identify each item or term related to the Earth's changing surface. A crack in the lithosphere along with rock, oh, excuse me, along which rocks move. The letter is F. That would be Defiance. Caden. Fault. Fault is correct. Defiance still in control. Earth's changing surface for 15. Earth's surface for 15 points now. Landform made up of flat or gently rolling land. The letter is P. That would be Stryker. Caitlin. Plains. Plains is correct. Stryker takes back control. Earth's changing surface for 20. Earth's changing surface for 20 points. Landform with a high elevation and more or less level surface. The letter is, that would be Defiance, Andrew. Plateau. Plateau is correct. Didn't even need the letter on that one. Defiance takes back control. Uh, let's go World History Month for 15. World History Month for 15 points. Assassination of President John F. Kennedy. That would be Defiance. Caden. May. Incorrect. Striker, would you like to steal? That would be Matthias. August. Incorrect. November. November is what we needed there. Defiance in control. Uh, solve me for 10. Solve me for 10 points. What is 27 multiplied by 12? Time 324 is what we needed there. Defiance in control. Earth's changing surface for 25. Earth's changing surface for 25 points. 
A loophole bend in the course of a river, the letter is M. Time, I'm sorry, time, meander is what we needed there. Uh, Defiant, still in control? U.S. state mottos for 10. U.S. state mottos for 10 points. Identify each U.S. state based on the given clue or motto. Sorry on that one, we didn't get there. Uh, let's take a look at our score. Striker, 50 points. Defiance currently in the lead with 130 points, but it's still anybody's game because coming up next is the Brainstorm Round. Questions worth 20 points apiece. Stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game. Striker 50 Defiance currently in the lead with 130 points. Before we get to our final round, though, Striker, you have brought in a new player. Who has joined your team? This is Hunter Revis, a freshman. All right, welcome to Hunter and, of course, to all of our returning players. This is the Brainstorm Round. All questions in this round are worth 20 points apiece. Negative 20 points for an incorrect answer. You may confer before buzzing in, but no stealing. I repeat, no stealing in this round. Still anybody's game. Striker, Defiance, are you ready? Here we go. Name the capital of Kenya. That would be Defiance, Dennis. Nairobi. Correct. Which six-letter word can be used as a noun or a verb and refers to any good or service sold from one nation to another? That would be striker. Matthias. Import. Incorrect. Export is what we needed there. Give the name of the German physicist, engineer, and glass blower who invented the first reliable mercury thermometer. Time. Gabriel Fahrenheit. Which European country's flag is nicknamed Union Jack? That would be Stryker. Matthias. Great Britain. Great Britain or United Kingdom. Correct. Give the name of the U.S. state that is due west of Maine. Time, New Hampshire. What two-word phrase denotes the sound we hear when an increase in air pressure from a supersonic aircraft's shock wave Striker, Matthias. Sonic boom. Sonic boom is correct. If you are visiting the Cumberland Island National Seashore near the city of St. Mary's on the East Coast, which U.S. state are you in? Time. You would be in Georgia. Which body of water separates Alaska on the North American continent from Russia? That would be Defiance, Dennis. Bering Strait. Bering Strait is correct. Between 73 and 71 BC, this Thracian gladiator led the, the Great Slave Rebellion. That would be Defiance, Dennis. Spartacus. Spartacus, that's right, I am Spartacus. A full round of golf consists of how many holes? That would be Defiance, Caden. 18. 18 is correct, I'm only good for nine myself. What is the most abundant protein in the human body? Time, collagen is what we were looking for there. Who was Zeus's father? That would be Stryker, Matthias. Cronus. Cronus is correct. An object traveling at three feet per minute would travel how many feet per hour? That would be Stryker. Matthias. 180. 180 is correct. Name the endocrine gland found in the front of the trachea. Time. End of round. Thyroid is what we were looking for there. Let's take a look at our score. Stryker with 110 and our winner, Defiance, with 210 points. Let's give both these teams a big round of applause. Now, in the spirit of good sportsmanship, let's meet in the middle. Shake hands or pump fists, and we will see you at the next BGSU Brain Game.